I am Krishnan Palashana, working for ActionAid Nepal as their Disaster Preparedness Project Manager. I would like to recollect, recall you all back to the recent two major disasters that we had. The first one, Seder in Bangladesh, a cyclone that ravaged the upper coastal region of Bangladesh, a cyclone of category three, which killed 300 people, 3,000 people rather. A couple of months later, in Burma, we had another cyclone attacking the coastal belt, Cyclone Nargis of category four, and it killed more than 150,000 people and still counting. What is the reason why the same, the cyclone of almost the similar intensity, while it killed 3,000 people in Bangladesh, killed almost 150,000 people in Myanmar. The reason is that in Bangladesh, since 1990s, there is a program going on, what is called as a cyclone preparedness program. And the people in Bangladesh, the community who live in the coastal belt, have been taught, have been put through the various exercises of how to save themselves, protect themselves in terms of disaster, in the face of a disaster. Now what I'm trying to say here is that despite the proven efficiency of the community-based disaster risk reduction initiatives, the kind of investments that is happening in that sector is absolutely low. Say, European Commission. The European Commission Humanitarian Aid Department has got an annual budget of roughly 700 million euro for humanitarian aid. Of that, only about less than 5% is earmarked for disaster risk reduction community-based initiatives. This is despite the known fact that one dollar invested in reducing the vulnerabilities and improving the capacities of people today is going to save us seven dollars in terms of disaster response tomorrow. Even in this wo workshop, even these conferences, we find that we are giving a lot of emphasis on public-private partnership, critical infrastructure development, etc. Arguably so, but what I strongly feel and strongly suggest is that there should be an equal or even more emphasis given to building the capacities of the community who are vulnerable to disasters. Because as much as we say, whenever a disaster strikes, the first respondent to disaster is not the government, not the UN, not donors or international agencies, it is the community themselves. So let us put a lot of emphasis a lot of initiative, a lot of investment in strengthening them. Thank you.